everyone welcome back to my channel today i have another chain video for you guys and also some of my favorite bags behind me and i'm going to share with you guys six new bag chains from next fashion if you guys don't know already or haven't watched my other videos next fashion is a canadian company that specializes in bag chains and accessories for your handbags this is perfect for those of you who like to accessorize your bags or to make it a lot more versatile so i'm going to get started and i have six bag chains to show you guys and i'm going to demonstrate with um the bags behind me so this new chain by next fashion is called the candy box chain and this is what it looks like it's one of their newest releases and it looks really nice. It has like this nice faceted look to it so that when the light hits and the chain is moving, it gives off this really natural shine to it. So a few things about these chains is that it is a very lightweight. However, it does not feel cheap at all. It does maintain its quality. And if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I do do a comparison about these other chains that I got from eBay and they were not good at all. They were scratching my finger when I was opening um, the lobster clasp, but I also did demonstrate in my other video that it was super smooth and did not cut anything at all, which is super important because when you're hooking these onto your bag, you don't want the sharp edges to scratch your bags, especially if they're luxury because you do spend a lot of money on it. So that is one thing I wanted to mention to you guys. It has like the lightweight feel without losing the quality. So the first one that I want to show you guys is this 10 inch candy box chain and it is perfect for kind of like accessorizing your bags or you also do have the option of using it kind of like um, as a wristlet. So for this one, I'm going to put it on my mini pochette over here. So on the mini pochette, this is what it looks like. As you can see, as I mentioned it before, it is very shiny over here. So it's a good accent piece. Um, you could also wear it like this, so using the original chain with the candy box chain as the accent piece. Or of course, like I said, you could totally use this as a wristlet and essentially move um, the other lobster clasp to this side and wear it like this. Another way you could use this 10 inch one is kind of like a bag charm or an accessory. So instead of using it as um, a chain, like a strap, you can use it like this to accessorize your bag and it just kind of adds a little touch to it and it matches the Louis Vuitton gold hardware pretty well. So the small clasp is actually pretty similar to the Louis Vuitton one. Um, it's probably the closest in size and color that I have actually seen so far. And of course it has that really beautiful eye-catching shiny effect. I also put it on my pochette accessoire and this is what it looks like. It's actually still a really good length and if you wanted to, you could still um, take off the original strap and use it like this. However, I would go up to the next size chain that I'll show you guys later because this one is a little bit um, short in terms of a drop. You could put it on your wrist, but not so much on your shoulder because it's going to be directly under your armpit. So this one I would suggest using as an accessory. Again, this is the 10 inch chain. And this is what it looks like on my Speedy B30, just so you guys have an idea. Um, when I put charms on my Speedy B30, I typically like to put it on the outside of this um, ring over here instead of the inner one. I just kind of think um, it just looks better when it's on the outside because there's just a little bit more surface area than over here. If I put it on the inside, it'll just kind of like look even thinner and I kind of don't like that look. Um, I prefer to just put it on the outside. So if you guys are gonna put it on your speedy, that's just what I recommend. Of course, if you guys like it on the inner, definitely stick to what you guys like. And this is what it looks like on my um, Prada Safiano leather tote in size medium. I've actually never put any bag charms on this um, bag before, so this is a first. And I wanna say the hardware looks pretty close to the gold hardware from the original Prada hardware as well. And yeah, I like the way this looks. I've actually never put any um, bag charms on this before. So the next chain is 16 inches, and this one can be used as a bag handle, but also depends on your frame, um, your body frame. This one might be able to be used as a shoulder strap, depending also on the size of your bag. So this is what it looks like on the pochette accessoire, and it is the exact same size and shoulder drop, I would say, to the existing pochette strap, if not a little bit 
like an inch or less than an inch shorter but this can definitely be worn as a shoulder strap or just as um, a bag handle for the crevice of your arm that works really well with this um, I'm five foot three for reference in um, the mod shots or referencing to these strap sizes so for me this one I would be able to wear as a shoulder strap on the mini pochette you can see that the strap is really long and in this case I would reverse it and use this as my bag strap and chain and have the existing chain as the accent piece and as you guys can see it is very shiny and I absolutely love the way this looks I'm going to grab something and show you guys what I will do with this chain so to demonstrate what I have in my mind is this ribbon and the only one I have is the Chanel one I do have another one but it's way too thick so I'm going to thread this through the chain and show you guys what it looks like And this is the final outcome. I definitely rushed this a little bit. As you can tell that it's not entirely even. Um, I tied a knot at the beginning and then I kind of threaded through every two chains in between. So every third chain I looped um, the ribbon through and then at the end I kind of just improvised and tied a little bow with only one ribbon coming out. But I think it looks pretty cute. Um, it just depends on the bag that you do it on for sure. Um, it definitely gives off some Chanel vibes with the chain threading the fabric through. If you want it to look more nicer, I would thread it through every other chain, but here I did every third chain. Um, yeah, this is just something I just thought would be pretty cute because the chains are actually big enough to loop something through, so you can definitely put um, any kind of fabric that is just thin enough to loop through everything and create something like this. The next size up, I have a 24 inch chain, which is perfect for shoulder straps and kind of for the bigger bags that you want to put over your shoulder and not hold as a wristlet or on the elbow area. For reference with the existing strap, this 24 inch one has about like three to four inches, I would say extra. And this is perfect for the shoulder, especially if you have bigger arms or if you have a bigger frame. This is going to give you so much room for the shoulder drop and the space beneath your armpit so the bag's not just like tucked right under. And I definitely feel very comfortable with this on my shoulder. And some of you guys might be worried that this might not feel comfortable on your shoulder because of the shape, but the chains and the links are actually big enough that if you were to have like this bag that was full and it's sitting on your shoulder, it doesn't dig into anything, for me at least. Um, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I don't have any issues with it. For bigger bags, like if I filled my Speedy up entirely and put on the shoulder strap, then maybe. But I don't typically carry that much with me anyways. So for something like this or even this bag or my Alma BB, I don't think there will be any problem with that if you're worried about the chain digging into your shoulder. It feels pretty comfortable. Of course, it depends um, from person to person depending on your frame as well. So this is a Ted Baker bag that I have and I just put on this just to show you guys. Um, I still have plenty of room for this to wear as a shoulder bag and again, this bag isn't big enough to entirely stuff for the chain to hurt your shoulder. And it looks pretty cute with this. This bag actually came with um, its own white strap, but I kind of felt like it made it way too casual for me. So I actually have been using a ton of Next Fashion chains on this bag. I do have another video. Um, I'll just list everything down below in the description, but it looks really good on a white bag. If you guys have any, it doesn't have to be luxurious. The next size I have with me is 32 inches, and this is perfect for shoulder bags. So not crossbody like this, but on one of your shoulders, kind of like just holding on to your bag. So the shoulder strap on my Alma looks like this. So as you can see, it kind of gives you lots of room to just have it on your shoulder instead of wearing crossbody or holding it by the handles. And just for reference, the 32 inch strap compared to the original strap is about, I wanna say five inches in difference. So for those of you guys who know and have this bag to put this on, for myself, 5'3", it drops a little bit pretty low, like past my hip. 
So to have this as a shoulder strap, it just goes above my hip, closer to my waist. And I think that is a really good size for more of like the petite and short girls. Um, so again, this is 32 inches. So I've also put it on my pochette accessoire and just to show you guys, this is the strap size difference and this one just allows you to adjust wear on your shoulder. Again, this one is a little bit too short to wear crossbody. It'll probably just be right at the waist or if not where the rib cage is. So I have two more straps to show you guys and the last two are perfect for wearing crossbody. So the one I'll show you guys first is 40 inches long. And this is going to be perfect for the petite girls. I am five foot three, and when I wear this crossbody, it sits right at the top of my hip. Um, however, I think, in my opinion, I am most comfortable wearing this crossbody and on one shoulder because it both hits at a really good length. Um, the next one that I'll show you guys later is perfect for girls who I think are five foot five and plus, of course. It also depends on your body frame. So this is what it looks on the pochette accessoire. So in this case, I would normally take off this strap whenever I am wearing this bag. So whenever I use this bag, I actually keep all my next fashion chains, well, one in this bag. So when I am out and I decide that I want to be hands-free if I'm shopping and I don't want something slipping off my shoulder, I actually do the change and um, put this chain on and that way I can continue my day and it makes the bag a lot more versatile So I've also put this strap on my Alma BB because I wanted to mention that For those of you guys who do have this bag or are planning to get this bag You guys will know that this strap is not adjustable. So in terms of um, Comparison the 40 inch strap is almost the same if not a little bit like half an inch shorter than the existing strap you guys can definitely get um, the next strap that i'm going to show you guys for an option to wear this bag crossbody in addition next fashion actually does have like strap extenders so you could actually buy two of them and link it to the existing strap and that way it makes the strap a lot longer so this will help any um person who's using this bag who is taller or plus size or has a big chest because you know this strap is really short it's actually really hard to just wear in general so even if you are petite like let's say using this bag in winter time i have a hard time putting this strap over my winter jacket because of like the hood and everything so just an fyi if you guys are interested in wearing the elma bb crossbody definitely get um, a bag chain that is over 40 inches long or get the bag extenders but also make sure that the overall is just like enough for what you need to use this bag for so the last chain that i have is no different than the other ones it is just longer and this one is 48 inches so just for reference in case um, some of you guys have skipped through the video just to find what you guys need i am five foot three and for the 48 inch chain it does work for me for crossbody and wearing it on one shoulder However, it works best for me as crossbody, but on one shoulder, it's way too long. It goes past my hips. And I would recommend if you guys are five foot five plus to get at least 48 inches. If you guys are five foot five or less, I would stick with 40 inches or depending on also how big your bag is and your body frame. So with the 48 inch one, I typically only use it for kind of smaller rectangular bags because of my height. If I use it on a square bag, it's just going to dip the bag a lot lower. So for example, by rectangle bags, I mean like the pochette accessoire because that way this is at my hip and it's not like a longer bag. So this one is still rectangular, but because of the height of this bag, that means the bottom of this bag is going to be touching the top of my Thigh, which is way too low for me. I don't feel comfortable wearing a bag that hits my leg when I walk because the bag is just going to be kind of annoying me when I walk. So for me, I don't mind the lower length. I just kind of like match it to the bag that I have. If I do have a shorter chain and I want to wear it cross the body, then I can opt for a bag that has like a larger height to it and I won't be as bothered when I am walking. Um, this is definitely a very versatile and beautiful chain. I don't know if the camera does justice, but in person it does look very like luxurious, attention to detail, and it's very comfortable. Like I said, it doesn't dig into your shoulder unless you're carrying like a giant duffel bag with um, this strap. 
it does look good and it doesn't um, hurt your shoulder or anything like that. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction to Next Fashion's candy box chain. I also do have a discount code if you guys are looking to save. I will also put that on screen and in the description as well. And feel free to check out Next Fashion's website and Instagram. The website is actually very helpful. When you guys are looking for chains, there's a little chart where the images are and it shows you what kind of strap you should get. Um, based on your height so that was actually very helpful and very accurate i would say if you guys do have any questions feel free to reach out to next fashion yourself or comment down below and i will get back to you guys as soon as possible and of course if you guys are new to my channel or existing it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video